Beijing cuisine, also known as Jing cuisine and Mandarin cuisine, and as Beiping cuisine in Taiwan, is the local cuisine of Beijing, the national capital of China. Background As Beijing has been the capital of China for centuries, its cuisine is influenced by culinary traditions from all over China, but the style that has the greatest influence on Beijing cuisine is that of the eastern coastal province of Shandong. Beijing cuisine has itself, in turn, also greatly influenced other Chinese cuisines, particularly the cuisine of Liaoning, the Chinese imperial cuisine, and the Chinese aristocrat cuisine. Another tradition that influenced Beijing cuisine, as well as influenced by the latter itself, is the Chinese imperial cuisine that originated from the Emperor's Kitchen, Yushanfang Yushanfang, which referred to the cooking facilities inside the Forbidden City, where thousands of cooks from different parts of China showed their best culinary skills to please the imperial family and officials. Therefore, it is sometimes difficult to determine the actual origin of a dish as the term, Mandarin, is generalized and refers not only to Beijing, but other provinces as well. However, some generalization of Beijing cuisine can be characterized as follows – Foods that originated in Beijing are often snacks rather than main courses, and they are typically sold by small shops or street vendors. There is emphasis on dark soy paste, sesame paste, sesame oil and scallions, and fermented tofu is often served as a condiment. In terms of cooking techniques, methods relating to different ways of frying are often used. There is less emphasis on rice as an accompaniment as compared to many other regions in China, as local rice production in Beijing is limited by the relatively dry climate. Many dishes in Beijing cuisine that are served as main courses are derived from a variety of Chinese halal foods, particularly lamb and beef dishes, as well as from Huayang cuisine. Huayang cuisine has been praised since ancient times in China, and it was a general practice for an official traveling to Beijing to take up a new post to bring along with him a chef specializing in Huayang cuisine. When these officials had completed their terms in the capital and returned to their native provinces, most of the chefs they brought along often remained in Beijing. They opened their own restaurants or were hired by wealthy locals. The imperial clan of the Ming dynasty, the House of Zhu, who had ancestry from Jiangsu province, also contributed greatly in introducing Huayang cuisine to Beijing when the capital was moved from Nanjing to Beijing in the 15th century, because the imperial kitchen was mainly Huayang style. The element of traditional Beijing culinary and gastronomical cultures of enjoying artistic performances such as Beijing opera while dining directly developed from the similar practice in the culture of Jiangsu and Huayang cuisines. Chinese Islamic cuisine is another important component of Beijing cuisine, and was first prominently introduced when Beijing became the capital of the Yuan dynasty. However, the most significant contribution to the formation of Beijing cuisine came from Shandong cuisine, as most chefs from Shandong province came to Beijing en masse during the Qing dynasty. Unlike the earlier two cuisines, which were brought by the ruling class such as nobles, aristocrats and bureaucrats, and then spread to the general populace, the introduction of Shandong cuisine began with serving the general populace, with much wider market segment, from wealthy merchants to the working class. History The Qing dynasty was a major period in the formation of Beijing cuisine. Before the Boxer Rebellion, the foodservice establishments in Beijing were strictly stratified by the foodservice guild. Each category of the establishment was specifically based on its ability to provide for a particular segment of the market. The top-ranking foodservice establishments served nobles, aristocrats, and wealthy merchants and landlords, while lower-ranking foodservice establishments served the populace of lower financial and social status. It was during this period when Beijing cuisine gained fame and became recognized by the Chinese Culinary Society, and the stratification of the food service was one of its most obvious characteristics as part of its culinary and gastronomic cultures during this first peak of its formation. The official stratification was an integral part of the local culture of Beijing and it was not finally abolished officially after the end of the Qing dynasty, which resulted in the second peak in the formation of Beijing cuisine. Meals previously offered to nobles and aristocrats were made available to anyone who could afford them instead of being restricted only to the upper class. As chefs freely switched between jobs offered by different foodservice establishments, they brought their skills that further enriched and developed Beijing cuisine. 
Though the stratification of food services in Beijing was no longer affected by imperial laws, the structure more or less remained despite continuous weakening due to the financial background of the local clientele. The different classes are listed in the following subsections. Zhuang <inaudible> 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 Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Zhuang, 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 village, or Zhuang Zihao, Zhuang Zihao, Zhuang Zihao, Zhuang Zihao, village brand, were the top ranking food service establishments, not only in providing foods, but entertainment as well. The form of entertainment provided was usually Beijing Opera, and food service establishments of this class always had long term contracts with a Beijing Opera troupe to perform on site. Moreover, food service establishments of this class would always have long-term contracts with famous performers, such as national treasure class performers, to perform on site, though not on a daily basis. Food service establishments of this category did not accept any different customers on a walk-in basis, but instead, only accepted customers who came as a group and ordered banquets by appointment, and the banquets provided by food service establishments of this category often included most, if not all tables, at the site. The bulk of the business of food service of this category, however, was catering at customers' homes or other locations, and such catering was often for birthdays, marriages, funerals, promotions and other important celebrations and festivals. When catering, these food service establishments not only provided what was on the menu, but fulfilled customers' requests. Food service establishments categorized as Lang Zhuangzi, Lang Zhuangzi, Lang Zhuangzi, Lang Zhuangzi, Cold Village lacked any rooms to host banquets, and thus their business was purely catering. Tang Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Tang, Tang Tang, Auditorium, or Tang Zihao, Tang Zihao, Tang Zihao, Tang Zihao, Auditorium brand are similar to food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Zhuang, but the business of these second-class food service establishments were generally evenly divided among on-site banquet hosting and catering at customers' homes. Food service establishments of this class would also have long-term contracts with Beijing opera troupes to perform on-site, but they did not have long-term contracts with famous performers, such as national treasure class performers, to perform on-site on regular basis, however these top performers would still perform at food service establishments of this category occasionally. In terms of catering at the customer's sites, food service establishments of this category often only provided dishes strictly according to their menu, and would not provide any dishes that were not on the menu. Ting Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Ting, Ting Ting Ting, Foyer, or Ting Zihao, Ting Zihao, Ting Zihao, Ting Zihao. Foyer brand are food service establishments which had more business in on-site banquet hosting than catering at customers' homes. For on-site banquet hosting, entertainment was still provided, but food service establishments of this category did not have long-term contracts with Beijing opera troupes, so that performers varied from time to time, and top performers usually did not perform here or at any lower-ranking food service establishments. For catering, different food service establishments of this category were incapable of handling significant catering on their own, but generally had to combine resources with other food service establishments of the same ranking or lower to do the job. Topic: <laughs> Yuan. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Yuan, 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 Garden or Yuan Zihao, Yuan Zihao, Yuan Zihao, Yuan Zihao, Garden Brand, did nearly all their business in hosting banquets on site. Entertainment was not provided on a regular basis, but there were stages built on site for Beijing opera performers. Instead of being hired by the food service establishments like in the previous three categories, performers at food service establishments of this category were usually contractors who paid the food service establishment to perform and split the earnings according to a certain percentage. 
Occasionally, food service establishments of this category would be called upon to help cater at customers' homes, and like food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Ting, they could not do the job on their own but had to work with others, never taking the lead as food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Ting could. Topic Liu. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Lu, 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 Story, Floor, or Lu Zihao, Lu Zihao, Lu Zihao, Lu Zihao, Story Brand, did the bulk of their business hosting banquets on site by appointment. In addition, a smaller portion of the business was in serving different customers on site on a walk-in basis. Occasionally, when catering at customers' homes, food service establishments of this category would only provide the few specialty dishes they were famous for. Topic: <laughs> Jiu. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Ju, 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 residence, or Ju Zihao, Ju Zihao, Ju Zihao, Ju Zihao, residence brand generally divided their business evenly into two areas, serving different customers on site on a walk-in basis, and hosting banquets by appointment for customers who came as one group. Occasionally, when catering at the customers' homes, food service establishments of this category would only provide the few specialty dishes they were famous for, just like food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Lu. However, unlike those establishments, which always cook their specialty dishes on location, food service establishment of this category would either cook on location or simply bring the already cooked food to the location. Topic: <laughs> Jai. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Jai, 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 Jai. Study. Or Jai Zihao, Jai Zihao, Jai Zihao, Jai Zihao, study brand, were mainly in the business of serving different customers on site on a walk in basis, but a small portion of their income did come from hosting banquets by appointment for customers who came as one group. Just like food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Ju, when catering at customers' homes, food service establishments of this category would also only provide the few specialty dishes they are famous for, but they would mostly bring the already cooked dishes to the location, and would only cook on location occasionally. Fang Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Fang, 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 workshop, or Fang Zihao, Fang Zihao, Fang Zihao, Fang Zihao, workshop brand. Food service establishments of this category generally did not offer the service of hosting banquets made by appointment for customers who came as one group, but instead often only offered to serve different customers on site on a walk-in basis. Food service establishments of this category or lower would not be called upon to perform catering at the customers' homes for special events. Topic: <laughs> Guan. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Guan, 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 restaurant, or Guan Zihao, Guan Zihao, Guan Zihao, Guan Zihao, restaurant brand. Food service establishments of this category mainly served different customers on site on a walk in basis, and in addition, a portion of the income would be earned from selling to goes. Dian Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Dian, 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 Shop, or Dian Zihao, Dian Zihao, Dian Zihao, Dian Zihao. Shop brand. Food service establishments of this category had their own place, like all previous categories, but serving different customers to dine on site on a walk in basis only provided half of the overall income, while the other half came from selling to goes. Pew Food service establishments with name ending with the Chinese character Pu, 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 Pu. Store or Pu Zihao, Pu Zihao, Pu Zihao, Pu Zihao, store brand. 
Food service establishments of this category ranked next to the last, and they were often named after the owner's last names. Food service establishments of this category had fixed spots of business for having their own places, but not as large as those belonging to the category of dian, and thus did not have tables, but only seats for customers. As a result, the bulk of the income of food service establishments of this category was from selling to goes, while income earned from customers dining on site only provided a small portion of the overall income. Tan Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character tan, tan tan tan, stand, or tan zihao, tan zihao, tan zihao, tan zihao, stand brand. The lowest ranking food service establishments without any tables, and selling to goes was the only form of business. In addition to name the food stand after the owner's last name or the food sold, these food stands were also often named after the owner's nicknames. Notable dishes and street foods <laughs> Meat and poultry dishes <laughs> Fish and seafood dishes Noodles, both vegetarian and non-vegetarian. Topic: Pastries. Topic: Vegetarian. Topic. Restaurants known for Beijing cuisine Numerous traditional restaurants in Beijing are credited with great contributions in the formation of Beijing cuisine, but many of them have gone out of business as time went by. However, some of them managed to survive until today, and some of them are Bai Kui, Bai Kui established in 1780 Bao Du Feng, Bao Du Feng established in 1881, also known as Ji Sheng Long. Jin Sheng Long Bian Yi Feng, established in 1416, the oldest surviving restaurant in Beijing. Cha Tang Li, Cha Tang Li established in 1858. Dao Shang Chun, Dao Shang Chun established in 1916. Dao Xian Kun, Dao Shang Kun established in 1895. Da Shun Jai, Da Shun Jai established in the early 1870s. Dong Lai Shun, Dong Lai Shun established in 1903. Dong Xin Shun, Dong Xing Shun also known as Bao Du Zhang, Bao Du Zhang established in 1883. Du Yi Chu, Dou Yi Chu established in 1738. Dou Fu Nao Bai, Dou Fu Nao Bai established in 1877, also known as Shi Yu Jai. Shi Yu Jai N Yuan Ju, N Yuan Ju established in 1929. Fang Sheng Jai, Fang Sheng Jai, also known as Nai Lao Wei, Nai Lao Wei established in 1857. Hong Bin Lu, Hong Bin Lu established in 1853 in Tianjin, relocated to Beijing in 1955. Jin Sheng Long, Jin Sheng Long established in 1846. Kao Ru Ji, Kao Ru Ji established in 1828. Kao Ru Wan, Kao Ru Wan established in 1686. Lu Bai Ju, Lu Bai Ju established in 1530. Lu Quan Ju, Lu Quan Ju established in the late 1560s, the second oldest surviving restaurant in Beijing. Nan Lai Shun, Nan Lai Shun established in 1937. Nian Gao Qian, Nian Gao Qian established in early 1880s. Quan Zhu, Quan Zhu Day established in 1864. Rui Bin Lu, Rui Bin Lu originally established in 1876. Sha Guo Zhu, Sha Guo Zhu established in 1741. Tian Fu Hao, Tian Fu Hao established in 1738. Tian Xing Zhu, Tian Xing Zhu established in 1862. 
Tian Yuan Jian Yuan, Tian Yuan Zhang Yuan established in 1869. Wang Ji He, Wang Ji He established in 1669. Wantan Hu, Hun Tun Hu established in 1949. Shi De Shun, Shi De Shun also known as Bao Du Wang, Bao Du Wang established in 1904. Shi Lai Shun, Shi Lai Shun established in 1930. Xi'an Bing Zhou, Xi'an Bing Zhou established in 1910s, also known as Tong Zhu Guan. Tong Zhu Guan Xiao Chong Chen, Xiao Chong Shane established in the late 19th century. Xin Yuan Jai, Xin Yuan Jai established in 1740. Yang Tio Yu Man, Yang Tu Ma established in the late 1830s. Yi Tiao Long, Yi Tiao Long established in 1785. Topic. See also. Beijing Cuisine Portal.